Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about avalanche sharks. So, this is a, a little creature feature. It, uh, it premiered on Sci-Fi Channel in 2014. Um, and it's basically about some uh, snow sharks. So, yeah, when I heard about the concept of this movie I was like I'm gonna check that out one day that's absolutely insane and I am a fan of a lot of uh, sci-fi channel creature features so hey you know I, I was bound to check this out eventually so uh, after watching it my my opinion of the movie is you know I thought it was a decent decent little creature feature there was a uh, Definitely some fun to be had. There were some funny moments. And, you know, it was it was on par with other sci-fi channel original movies. So, yeah, it was a decent movie. Um, so that's uh, my opinion right there. And uh, now that I've given you all my overall thoughts of the movie, I'm going to jump into a little plot summary. So you have this uh, couple... Wade and Madison, and they're at this uh, ski resort. It's like during spring break, and uh, basically Wade is looking for his his uh, brother, who at the beginning of the movie was killed uh, by one of these snow sharks. So, you know... They, the, they, of course, don't know that they were killed. They just assume they're missing or something. So they're trying to find them throughout the movie. It, uh, it's spring break. There's a bunch of young people. Uh, people just keep turning up missing. And nobody knows what the heck is going on. Basically... What is going on is they're, you know, like I said, they're being picked off by these snow sharks because uh, something happened where they're, okay, so the, the, the sharks, they're, they're basically these, it's like a, they were put there by this Native American curse. So um, during, during the gold rush, there was like there was like a bunch of miners on the mountain and um, these uh, the Native Americans that lived at, uh, on the mountain they wanted to get revenge on the miners because I think the miners like killed some of the Native Americans yeah so the Native Americans wanted to get revenge so they put this curse on the area and they put these totems there and when the totems are this, it was for like a revenge spirit but yeah like the totems I guess were misplaced uh, at some point in the movie and that kind of unleashed these sharks and it's saying that they like pa pass through snow just like it's water which kind of I mean even though it doesn't make any sense like I guess it kind of makes sense because it is like snow is a form of water, so I guess you, it's not that far off. Cause there's this movie I haven't seen it, but it's called Sand Sharks. Like, I mean that's like way far far out there. But uh, I mean this is far out there too. I don't know why I'm justifying it, but uh, yeah. So that's the basic plot summary. So yeah, that's just um, the whole like Native American curse thing. I'm just telling you all. That's like the the reason why these sharks exist and are on the mountain but yeah the basic the basic plot summary is that yeah Wade and Madison uh, they're trying to find Wade's brother because he was killed by the shark and then people start getting killed by the sharks nobody knows what's going on and then eventually everyone figures it out and they're trying to survive so and take down the sharks um, so yeah, that's the basic plot summary. Uh, something that I liked a lot about the movie uh, were the kills because the kills were like 
very funny for the most part. There would always be kind of like a, there would be some funny situation going on like right before a kill. And the, the thing about this movie is, it's mainly played straight, even though this is like a totally outlandish, silly concept. The movie is pl uh, pretty much played straight. There, There is a little bit of comedy sprinkled in there, but like the main funny thing is the kills. Like there's this guy and he's like, I'm just going to. I'm just going to uh, take down these sharks with the power of love. I love my life. I love my job. I'm going to quit smoking weed. And then, like, he immediately dies. Um, like, that same gentleman, uh, his, his girlfriend wants him to, like, profess his uh, love for her. And it's, like, right before he is going to profess his love, she's just, like, eaten by one of the sharks. And then... There's this r funny kill where this gentleman, he's like pushing a snowblower and he's killed by one of the sharks and like the snowblower just keeps on going. I don't know why I thought that was really funny, but I thought that was, that was pretty, uh, pretty fun. And then there's this guy, like he's racing this other guy in a snowmobile in order to get with this chick and he's like just about to get with this beautiful chick. Boom eaten by one of the sharks. So that's like the type of uh that's like the type of uh comedy that uh is going on with the kills so I really like that and the kills were pretty good. They were like pretty bloody too, a little bit gory, so you know, good stuff. Um another thing that I liked is that the uh, the CGI was absolutely terrible. And, you know, for like another type of movie, that would be a negative. But, I mean, going into this movie, I, I, I expected the, the CGI to be terrible. And that made it funny. That made it fun. It, I mean, it's a, it's a sci-fi channel, original creature feature about some sharks in the snow. What kind of CGI do you expect? I don't know. That just, that just added to the experience for me. The bad CGI just made the movie way funnier, way more enjoyable. It was just icing on the cake. So I was a big fan of the uh, the CGI in this movie, the terrible CGI. Um, and yeah, I mean, the last thing that I have here in my notes that I'm going to talk about today is I just, I think this is a hilarious concept. I just, like, that was the whole selling point that got me to to watch the movie you know if it's just some other uh creature feature like shark movie like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna watch it if it's just some off-brand like b movie shark movie i'm not gonna watch it I could, there's like so many good shark movies that i could watch like what why am i gonna watch some bs movie but like the concept alone got me to watch this movie and like I said, the kills were fun. Um, you know, there was some good gore. Like the CGI was terrible. It was just, it it was, it was just like a perfect Sci-Fi Channel original movie. It was fantastic. Like this is what I look for in a Sci-Fi Channel original. This is what I look for in like a B movie creature feature. So, I mean you got to have a crazy concept and this concept was absolutely crazy and it was a fun setting i liked the whole ski resort setting it was i don't know it was just it was fun it was a fun winter watch um there were a lot of cool situations i mean of course all the skiing and snowboarding was awesome like there was some cool stuff with uh like I said, some there's like this cool snow snowmobile racing scene. So the the uh, snowy setting kind of kind of uh, set up like a lot of cool situations and scenarios. So I really like that. So yeah, uh, awesome concept. Um, and that was the last thing that I uh, really wanted to talk about. So I'm gonna get into my uh, my recommendation that I'm gonna head out here so in terms of a recommendation yeah like you know going in this isn't gonna be a 
fantastic movie, but is it a entertaining and fun watch? I think it is. Not, it wasn't the most, you know, the most fun sci-fi channel creature feature I've, I've ever seen. There's ones that I like more, but like I said, it was decent. So if you're, you know, maybe smoking or drinking or just looking for something silly to watch, I think this is a mildly entertaining movie and I would recommend it. So that's my little recommendation there. So I'm going to, I'm going to wrap things up here. Uh, but before I head out, I just want to thank you all very much for watching and that's it for Avalanche Sharks. Peace out.